Welcome to question 28. It says, as part of the lesson on motion, students observed a cart rolling at a constant rate along a straight line. As shown in the chart below, they recorded the distance y feet of the carts from a reference point at one second intervals from t equals zero seconds to t equals five seconds. And you can see the data there in the table, which of the following equations represents this data. So it looks like t, this is like what our x value would normally be. And so I'm just going to, to make a little note of that right there. So t represents what x normally is. And we're going up one second. Every time we go up one second, we go up five feet in terms of the y value. And that pattern continues, plus one, plus five down here, plus one, plus five, and so on. So the slope is going to equal, we usually think of it as change in y, as change in y over change in, in x. So now we have change in y over change in t instead. So here we have a change of five for the y value and a change of one for the t value, which is five. That's gonna represent m in the formula in slope intercept form. And then for my y-intercept, my we call that our b value in y equals mx plus b. We look we can look at the table and see what is our starting value. So if you plug in zero, you get fourteen. That means b equals fourteen. So if you're gonna use slope intercept form y equals mx plus b, I would encourage you to do that here. You could use something called point slope form as well and calculate the slope based on that, but I think it's easy enough to see the way we've done it here, what that is. Y equals five times X plus B is 14. And then instead of X, we are using T to represent time. So this would be our equation, and that is choice H for number 28.